Dr. Andrew Huberman, a top neurobiologist at Stanford and a very successful podcast host, has shared all his secrets on improving your mind and body in just a few minutes. Today, after watching his countless YouTube videos and reading his papers on the subject, I am going to condense all the information in under 10 minutes. So stick to the end because each section has equal importance. Let's start with the concept of the third eye. In many ancient traditions, the third eye is considered the gateway to higher consciousness and inner realms of enlightenment. But what does modern science say about this mystical concept? According to Dr. Huberman, the third eye corresponds to a very real part of our brain, the prefrontal cortex. This area is crucial for decision-making, attention, and self-control. When we talk about focusing on the third eye in meditation, we're essentially directing our attention to this critical brain region. Now here's something intriguing. The brain itself has no sensory neurons. Unlike other parts of our body that can feel touch, pain, or temperature, the brain doesn't have these sensory receptors. This is why brain surgery can be performed on a conscious patient without them feeling any pain in the brain itself. Dr. Huberman explains that this lack of sensation allows for unique meditation experiences. When we focus on the third eye center, we're not distracted by physical sensations. Instead, our thoughts, emotions, and memories start to take center stage, allowing us to explore our inner world more deeply. Dr. Huberman introduces the concepts of interoception and exteroception, awareness of internal versus external sensations. Interoception is about tuning into your body's internal signals, like your heartbeat or breath. Extraception focuses on external stimuli, like sights and sounds around you. According to Dr. Huberman, balancing these two types of awareness is key to mental well-being. If you find yourself too caught up in your thoughts and bodily sensations, an interoceptive bias, it's beneficial to shift your focus outward. Conversely, if you're overly focused on the external world, a dissociative or exteroceptive bias, bringing attention inward can help ground you. Dr. Huberman's research suggests that many of us have a natural bias towards either interoception or exteroception. This bias can impact how we experience the world and our overall mental health. For instance, people with a strong interoceptive bias might feel overwhelmed by their internal states, making it difficult to engage with the external world. On the other hand, those with a strong exteroceptive bias might find it hard to connect with their own thoughts and feelings. So, how do we find a balance? Dr. Huberman recommends adjusting your meditation practice based on your current state. If you're feeling too inward-focused, try a meditation that emphasizes external awareness. This could involve focusing on sounds around you or looking at a distant object. If you're too externally focused, a more inward-directed meditation, like third eye or breath-focused practices, can help center you. Breathwork plays a crucial role in how meditation affects our state of mind and body. Dr. Huberman highlights several breathwork techniques, each with unique benefits. Cyclic hyperventilation, for example, is a powerful method that involves deep, rhythmic breathing. This technique, popularized by Wim Hof, can significantly increase adrenaline levels and body temperature, helping you feel more alert and energized. On the other hand, Box breathing is a method that promotes calmness and focus. This technique involves inhaling, holding, exhaling, and holding again, each for a count of four. By controlling your breath in this way, you can activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest and relaxation. Breath patterns can influence our mental and physical states in other ways too. If you need to become more alert, Longer or more vigorous inhales can stimulate your nervous system. Try taking deep breaths in through your nose and quickly exhaling through your mouth. This pattern increases noradrenaline, a neurotransmitter that enhances alertness and focus. Conversely, if relaxation is your goal, focus on longer exhales. Slow, controlled breathing out can help reduce stress and calm your nervous system. For instance, Inhaling deeply for a count of four and exhaling slowly for a count of eight can effectively promote relaxation. He also emphasizes that consistency is key for meditation. Even short, regular sessions can significantly improve mood, focus, and cognition. Can't meditate daily? Find a routine that suits you, even if it's a few times a week. Over time, meditation can become an integral part of your stress management and well-being toolkit. In order to 
sleep better, and maybe even reduce the total amount of sleep that we need. His research also reveals meditation's positive impact on sleep and stress. Practices like Yoga Nidra and NSDR promote deep relaxation, lower stress hormone levels, and enhance sleep quality, even reducing the total amount of sleep needed. For that reason, I just wanted to offer you a particular form of meditation incorporates all of the features that I've talked about up until now. Dr. Huberman introduces a unique meditation practice called space-time bridging, STB. It's many of the principles we've discussed. It balances interoception and exteroception, and it crosses the various time domains. This practice helps balance interoception and exteroception while also engaging different time domains through visual focus. Here's how it works. First, you close your eyes and focus on your breath, or the third eye center for three breaths, fully immersing yourself in interoception. Then, open your eyes and shift your focus to your hand at arm's length while still paying attention to your breath, blending interoception and exteroception. Next, look at a point in your immediate environment about 10-15 feet away for three breaths, followed by a distant point like the horizon for three more breaths. Finally, imagine yourself as a small part of the Earth floating in space, maintaining this awareness for three breaths. This practice not only trains your brain to switch smoothly between internal and external focus, but also aligns your perception of time with your focus. By regularly practicing STB, you can enhance your ability to manage attention dynamically, making it easier to stay present and balanced in various situations. Brief daily meditation enhances attention, memory, mood, and emotion regulation in non-experienced meditators. Dr. Huberman also explores the cognitive benefits of meditation. Research shows that regular meditation can significantly enhance cognitive functions such as attention, memory, and problem-solving skills. These improvements are linked to changes in brain structure and function, particularly in areas like the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus. The prefrontal cortex, which is involved in decision-making and self-control, becomes more active and efficient with consistent meditation practice. Similarly, the hippocampus, a critical area for memory formation shows increased density, indicating better memory retention and recall. These changes suggest that meditation can be a powerful tool for cognitive enhancement, making it easier to stay focused, process information, and retain knowledge. If you're very focused on things out in the world, you oftentimes can forget about your internal sensations and what's going on internally. Emotional regulation is another significant area where meditation has a profound impact. Dr. Huberman explains that meditation helps to balance the brain's emotional centers, such as the amygdala, which is responsible for processing fear and stress. Regular meditation practice can reduce the reactivity of the amygdala, leading to a calmer and more controlled response to stressors. This means that with consistent practice, you can become less reactive to negative emotions and more resilient in the face of challenges. Meditation fosters a sense of emotional stability helping you navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and equanimity. This is particularly beneficial for managing anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders. Being present and being mindful is a wonderful byproduct of a meditation practice. If you learned something new today, a sub will be highly appreciated as it will keep us going to create such content.